guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Ali here. Today we are reviewing this gorgeous baby right here. This is the Kat Von D Sated Center Palette and I'm really excited. And I'm also showing you how I did this olive green smoky eye. So if you want to know how to do that, then keep on watching. First of all, it's not a case that I wanted to do kind of an olive green smoky eye from forever. And last week when I entered Sephora and I see the palette, I was like, oh my god, this has to be mine. So I grabbed it, of course. And when I opened it and I saw Immaculate, that I'll show you in a minute, that is this... Um, rich olive green color I was like yes yes I gotta do my um, so desired olive green smoky eye so that's what we're gonna do today but let's talk a little bit about the palette as every cat's product this one also is so perfectly gorgeous it is a proper piece of art so if I open it, it is, if I can open it, is even more gorgeous. Just look at that. And this palette, it is inspired, as Kat said, by the um, kaleidoscopic stained glass windows of the Gothic Cathedral. Look at the colors, they are fantastic. And it is divided into two parts, the saint part and the sinner part. The part that is this one right here has more kind of dreamy, romantic colors. Whereas the sinner part has, has this bold, rich color. And it is really intimidating as a palette, as you can see. But once you swatch the color and see how beautiful they are, um, you can basically create uh, tons of look and you kind of appreciate the beauty of the product itself. So the palette retails for $62 that are 59 euro. I don't remember how, how much I paid it, but it is kind of 59 um, euro. It has um, 24 shades, 12 and 12. Each one is one gram. So the colors are both mattes and metallics and there are these two shades on top that are pearl finish and they are kind of top coats. So let's start with the swatches, hoping that they will be better than the ones of my last video, but I promise they will be better. So I'm trying to understand how to do that. I think I'm gonna swatch it on my hand, just four at a time, but we will see. You will discover very soon. Start with these top two colors that are the top coats. Absolution and Rapture, they are so buttery. So, mm -hmm. they are so unique. These shades are so unique. I really love them. And here it is. These are the first two shades. As you can see, they are. These ones are kind of a pearl finish, but they are so reflective and gorgeous. This one is kind of a, it has um, gold flecks in it. I don't know if you can see that. It's pure white, but with gold flecks in it. And this one is kind of a uh, pinky red base, no, red pinky base. And it's gorgeous. From the purple on, the purple is Worship. Then we have Immaculate, that you will see on my lid, the tutorial. 
and then the black is Sabbath and the last color is Ashes that you can't see properly with my light but it's beautiful it's kind of this neutral um, taupe brown with gold flecks in it it's absolutely stunning now from this color right here we have Calis and then Sacred Heart that is beautiful it's one of my favorite colors look at that and then we have Emin that is this beautiful bone color really pigmented and then we have Martyr and then Devil that I use in the tutorial and the last one is Revelation sorry for this watch it's terrible but look at the color is absolutely stunning here from this dark color right here we have sanctuary that is this dark color right here look how beautiful is that and then the second color is heaven and you guys this is i use it as a inner corner highlight it's fantastic you can use it also as a proper highlight because look at the color it's absolutely stunning and then we have crucifix that i also use in my tutorial and then we have vestment that is this kind of teal with brown kind of undertone color and then we have ministry and the last color is exodus here we are starting with this color right here that is cathedral and then we have another of my favorite shades that is rosary it's fantastic then we have baptism this pink kind of pale pale pink right here really pigmented and then we have exorcism that is probably the one that shows um, a little bit less than the other at least on my hand I haven't tried it yet on my eyes but this watch is not so pigmented as the other ones but let's move on to relic that is this pure gold colors so rich so pigmented as you can see and this one will be also in my tutorial and the last one is stigmata and also this one is really really gorgeous let's go straight to the tutorial so to create my olive green smoky eye today i'm going to use both the saint and sinner palette but also the Kat Von D shade and light eye palette just because there are some more shades that I want to include especially this one no especially this one right here that is a um, warm transition shade that is really good on my um, pale complexion so let's move on to the tutorial usual my eye has already prepped prime I've got my tape on and I've just applied my NYX lip oil that is my fave at the moment I showed you in my past 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 whole video and it has become a must for my lips so as I showed you before the transition shade that I'm going to use is this one right here from the shade and light eye palette and we are starting to build our crease and outer corner nothing new here I'm using a large fluffy brush to diffuse the color and create the transition and all of my brushes the most part are from the um, vegan set there are two vegan set in the Morphe website and my brushes are from that those sets and I've got some NYX brushes also but for the most part they are Morphe usual 
clean blending brush to diffuse the edges and blend them even better. For my second crease shade, we are going to dive into the Saint and Sinner palette and we're going to take this one right here, this dark orange that is called Devil. And this one is going in the crease and out the corner too, just to intensify the transition. Um, this color is blending really well with the transition shade. It is really, really um, battery and I love it. I dipped quite hard with the brush, but as you can see, and I'm going to do it again, the kickback is really minimal from this color, but the uh, pigmentation, as you can see, the um, brushes is really coated. The pigmentation is awesome. I'm really liking the warmth that this color is giving to the look. This shade is from the Shade and Light Eye palette. I'm using just the warm quad for this look and I'm also using a smaller blending brush and I'm applying this shade in the outer corner and crease but we are staying a little bit lower than we did for the other shades. As usual, you can go back with the lighter colors to blend everything even better. Let's shade in the crease this brown right here, this dark brown that is called Crucifix and this one with our little tiny blending brush is going to be our last color before of course the main color on the lid and this one is going to go in the crease and outer corner but even lower than the color that we applied before and don't be scared if this color goes on the lid because we're going to put another color but this dark color is not going to bother us. The last color we're going to apply is this one right here. This is called Immaculate and I'm gonna take it with my finger, look at that and I'm going to apply it directly on the lid and this is gorgeous it has little gold flecks in it I love it I'm going to pack it gently on the lid and then I'm gonna blend it slightly with a brush but look at that, this is gorgeous. I've already um, put my concealer and set my face so we can move directly to the lower lash line. I'm starting with Devil and I'm applying it um, just on the outer corner and center of my lower lash line. We're taking this one from the Shade and Light Eye Palette and this is gonna go also on the outer part and the center part of our lower lash line. Here is going to be Crucifix for our outer part so we can connect with the upper part of the eye. 
inner part of our lower lash line we're going to take another smudger brush and we're going to apply relic that is this gold right here this is pure gold and you will see it this is so stunning so pigmented it's insane wow and a little bit with my transition shade from the shade and light palette for our inner corner highlight we are going to take heaven with our pinky Ooh. and we're going to apply it in the inner corner wow Ooh. bam this is so bright i'm gonna quickly finish the rest of my face and i'll be right back this is the final look complete with everything lashes highlight contour and lips so i keep it nude of course and I've used my favorite combo at the moment that is Nabla Dreamy Liquid Lipstick in the color Vanilla Queen topped with the NYX Mega Shine um, Lip Gloss in the color Beige For final thoughts on the palette First of all, as I said before, every Kat Von D um, product is a proper piece of art so it's beautiful and for me and most of you guys that are um, collector also, this is a must-have. Um, Product-wise, it is um, really gorgeous. The color are unique. Um, the formula is gorgeous for the mattes, but also for the um, shimmers. They're all really pigmented and rich and they are also really blendable. It's not the most practical palette to travel with because of the um, size, even if it's not, even if it's thin, as you can see, but the, this kind of shape is kind of, you know, not so easy to bring with you. But I would use it as a clutch, actually. It would be so dope empty clutch of course but it would be a very gorgeous accessory for an outfit but other than that it's phenomenal i really like it as every cat von d product is cruelty free and vegan so that's of course a really huge point for me so that's all i hope you like this review and this look also. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you in my next one. Bye!